So the next task for the truck is installing the uh, wiring harness extension. I'm going to put this seven-way plug up in the up in the bed here. That way, when you tow a trailer, you don't have the uh, trailer wire and draped over the tailgate and uh, makes it less likely to catch on things so we'll get started with that what I've got to do is I'm going to get up under the truck plug it into the splice it into the harness under the truck I got to figure out where up here I'm going to put the uh, put this plug it's, it's kind of deep and I got to find a place that'll fit you know that square so I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it up here, but I'll figure out a place. So let's get started. So I figured out where I want to mount this thing. It's going to be on the inside there of the uh, rear pillar. Back over here, facing forward. Um, because it's so deep, there's not enough room to mount it in the sidewall. And uh, there's plenty of space here behind the tail light for that that tail and that plug. The only problem is I've got to snake that wire up through right there. And that plug won't fit through that hole. At least it won't fit through the hole with these wires still through there. So I'm going to pull those out and see if I can see if I can get it up through there. If I can't, I'm going to have to get the reciprocating saw, I think, and take a shot at just cutting that, cutting a V out where that hole is, that, that second hole there. Just V it out so my plug will fit up through there. So let's see what I can come up with here. Well, it didn't fit without cutting, but judicious application of an oxyacetylene torch. That hole ought to be big enough for that plug to go up through. So let's get that sucker snaked up here and plugged in down on the bottom. Well, so I managed to get the plug up through there. And I tell you what, I thought I cut that hole way oversized. Plug almost didn't fit. That thing's bigger than you think it is. So when you cut that hole, give yourself enough room because I almost had to go back and do that again. So I got my wire coming down, snaking it over the uh, bumper support, and then out to here where the, the uh, standard trailer plug was mounted on this bracket. And all I have to do is unplug this guy from the trailer plug, plug it into your harness, that's the splitter and then you got this other part of the harness that goes back to the trailer plug so this plug this seven-way and four-way plug still works but then it also sends the seven-way up to the uh, bed of the trailer so just gotta get this stuff tucked back up zip tied up get this bracket put back on and then i can go to putting the uh, plug in the bed well i got the hole cut and because that hole saw made some pretty sharp edges on the inside. Went around it with a die grinder, smoothed it all off. So let's see here. This guy should fit right there. That's it. Now it came with four self-drilling, self-tapping screws. So got to get my uh, socket and air ratchet and just drive them through. Then I can plug everything in, put the tail light back in, and I'll be done. Awesome. Here we go. Almost ready to go camping now. Thanks for watching, guys.